Wizard, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. One more shot. One more shot. Oh, what? Oh, two archers still alive. Good morning, ladies and gentle toes. Today, we got Anarchia versus Contract Killer in the On Fire YT tournament. Let's do it. Anarchia battle going first against Papa Mogambo right away. And we're going with a speedy, speedy Root Rider attack because they don't know if uh, Papa Mogambo's clan is going to put up a perfect war or not. So we got to go for speed right away. Siege Barracks on the bottom side. Queen on the upper left. We got a uh, overgrowth on the town hall and all the stuff behind it. He might have dropped it a few seconds early, but it might not matter. The wizards from the Siege Barracks helping out there. Rocket Bloons, Ice Golems coming out of the defensive clan. Castle got the poison spell in the mix to help out. Royal Champion over on the bottom side. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Queen up there. Joining forces with the Root Riders and the Healers as we already popped the Healer Puppet now. Overgrowth expires. Poison Tower goes up. Is anybody going to go get this Town Hall? Hog Riders out of the Siege Barracks. Sure. Road Champion inside the Rage takes the Town Hall. That's looking great. Headhunter does not finish off the enemy Queen. We pop the King ability. We got the Warden going down. We got the Champion who already went down. Or no, she's about to go down. Maybe. Maybe. Can she get that scatter? Ooh, no. It's actually getting a little sketchy. It's not overkill. He's got nothing left to drop. No spells, no hero abilities. We got the healers from the healer puppet trying to help out this barbarian king. We got one root rider. That's gonna die before we can get through this wall. Uh, he might get this? Does queen have frozen arrow? No, she just had the healer puppet. But if she gets through this ricochet cannon while the king distracts, I think he still gets this. He does. Wow. You lucky, lucky guy. 98%. Queen will walk around. She should be able to pick up the scatter shot. I think it's low. No, never mind. It's full health. But she still gets it. Phoenix in there to help out as well. But it's going to be slow. It's going to be slow, which opens the door for Contract Killer to take the lead with a fast triple if they can. This one exactly two minutes. Mustafa with the first attack for contract killer and we got five healers and super bowlers. All right. All right. Let's go. We start with a warden walk. Got a healing tome, frozen arrow, giant gauntlet, super bowlers. We don't see that very often right now. So this very much feels off meta, but it still could be a very strong attack strategy. Let's see. Warden gets the gold storage. Gonna be able to get the multi archer tower. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Taking five ever, though. Not using the Rage Gym on the Warden Walk makes a big difference, man. The Rage Gym on the Warden Walk allows him to get not only 50% more damage, but the healers do like 50% more healing, too. Makes a huge difference. Drop the Queen, double Ice Golem. Here we go. Expo still locked on to the Warden. Might need another free spell. And he only has one left. Log launcher deployed. King on the outside. Wall breaker is in. There goes that last free spell. No freezes for later. All right. The healing tome is going to be so good for the bowlers, though, once we get into the middle section of the base. That's why he really wanted to use that healing tome. There's the healing tome. There's the first rage spell for the bowlers. One E Titan in the mix to help fight the CC troops. There is going to be a dragon, two ice golems. The log launcher did activate the invisibility tower early. King on the left side going to have to pop ability. We do have that giant gauntlet. One bowler dipped out to the outside. That's kind of unfortunate. The rest of the bowlers in the core doing some good stuff. Royal champion on the right side with a headhunter that I think was deployed way too early. A lot of skeleton traps to track that champion. Valkyries. Out of the log launcher. Okay. Jump spell to get us to the town hall. Queen still healthy. One or two bowlers still bouncing. Royal champion on one HP and a dream. Pop the RC ability. She got the hog puppet and I think the seeking shield. Interesting combo. One more rage. Queen's about to die. Never mind. She's got ability. King went down. Bowler's going to be able to get the town hall. Question is, can we get the three star? Royal champion's on one HP. Another skeleton trap slows her down and the wizard tower is going to take her out. Healers transition back over to the queen. With the queen alive with the healers, he might have the firepower to get through everything, but all of a sudden I'm very worried about time because this wizard tower is going to stop his cleanup on the right side. Unless he gets bowlers to go over there, but it doesn't look like he will. Ooh. Dude, he might, he might time fail here. 
It's awkward. And even if he does it, this is so slow. No, this is a time fill. Mustafa. Not gonna be able to start off with a triple for Contract Killer. That's unfortunate, man. Right at the... Well, hold on. 98. 99. Come on. Come on, Wizard. Get in there. Wizard. 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 I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. One more shot. One more shot. Oh, what? Oh, two archers still alive. Take out a wizard tower. That makes a heck of a difference. It's three to three to start the match. Leo, the second attack for Anarchia. More root riders and we're going for more speed. King on the right side, queen on the top side. Root riders in between. We got a healing tone. We got the healer puppet, the giant gauntlet, the uh, new stuff on the champion. Let's do it. Early ward ability, double rage setup. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Jump spell for the Barbarian King. All right. Even though the Root Riders are going to open walls up here and King's just going to follow the Root Riders. Bro, King's not even going to take the jump spell. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Nice swag jump spell, my guy. Queen going toward the Town Hall. She'll take that out. Road Champ is going toward the Monolith. There is an Ice Golem. It's going to slow her down first, though. King Pop's ability. Did he lose all the Root Riders? Hold on. Where are his Root Riders? He already deployed all of his spells as well. Swag to jump. Lost all the Root Riders. Extra hogs from the left side of the base. RC has ability, and that's it. This is looking sketchy. We got one Headhunter in there trying to take out the enemy champion. That actually might work out. RC going to go finish her off. RC ability needs to carry through the rest of this attack with the Warden helping her out. Go, go, go. There's not that many defenses left. The double expo, though, is going to hit pretty hard unless the Hog Puppet makes her go invisible for a second. But then the other expo locks on. The Giant Bomb to kill Hogs. The Eagle hitting the Grand Warden. Go, 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 champion. Come on, haste file. She quick with it. Couple Hogs. Giant Bomb. Another Giant Bomb. <gasps> That's a big rip for Leo. Dude. It looked like Antarctica were going to get a defense, and then they didn't. It looked like Contract Killer were about to get this base destroyed, but then it gets a defense. Oh, how the turns have tabled, bro. Contract Killer are going to have a huge chance to take the lead now. If they hit another triple after this. Rip the swag jump. 97%. Contract killer's second attack here. They gotta play it safe. Time shouldn't matter whatsoever. Focus on getting the three star. Look at this toxic, toxic base. We've seen some people take out these style of bases with the root riders, of course. But contract killer, they decide to bring Queen Charge Lalo on this one. Queen on the upper side of the base. Fighting the king right away. Finding some Teslas right away. Got a frozen arrow. Got a healing tome on the warden for later. The seeking shield combo with the hog puppet. Again. They seem to like that combo. Baby dragon on the left hits traps right away. RIP to the baby dragon. Yeti might pick up the air defense. Okay. Sure. Barbarian king deployed to go take out the right side. Compartment. But he's already walking the wrong way. So... That's weird. Log Launcher is in. Queen might need a spell here, my guy. It's alright. We don't want the Queen ability anyways. And the Log Launcher was so late, Queen dips out. Oh, this is about to get really, really messy. Queen was supposed to go charge the core. He's gonna have to figure out something else. Healers and an ice golem out of the defensive, I mean, out of the offensive clan castle. A dragon on defense. His king's dead without even clearing the compartment he was supposed to. Just beaten on a wall forever. We send the champion on the right. He's gonna have to lolo the core. All the healers are in range of that multi now. Why are you raging? There's nothing hitting the queen. That's a swag rage. You're said, oh gosh, the dragon's still alive. Diggy on the Grand Warden. RC already used ability. Rage, freeze, Warden ability, healing tome. Invis Tower is trying to recharge. It almost did. There's a freeze. Come on, somebody get the Town Hall. Please, 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 please. <gasps> Tornado. 
He gets the town hall. Ugh, but then all the balloons are toast. Bro, you have to at least get 97% for the tie. Get 98. I don't know if you can triple. I don't know if you can get 97. Uh. Grand Warden, actually, on air mode, might be able to get a couple buildings in the core. He's got two invis spells, but he's out of time. 30 seconds. Uh, he can't get 97. And the invis on the Grand Warden was late after he died. Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> nice try to the homie. Last invis on the queen, but we're going to run out of time. 86%. Eighty-six percent, and Anarchia actually have the lead by eleven buildings. We got Bernal with Queen Charge Lalo. I don't know if Anarchia are going to get in trouble. I mean, they probably are. Shoot, they use Root Riders for for both of their first two attacks. Oh, dude, they might get so many penalty points in this match. Uh oh. But now we got Queen Charge Lalo from Bernal. Flame Flinger on the right side of the base. Sure, sure, sure. King going toward uh, the Archer Queen. Can he get her over the wall? Maybe we give him another wall breaker. Never mind. He dips out. Rage spell for the Queen who has a frozen arrow in this vile combo. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Down goes the Town Hall. Down go the Expos. Queen still looking very healthy. Flame Flinger on the right side of the base. Doing her thing. Another rage on the queen. Monolith locks on. Might need a free spell. And we do. Perfect. Here come CC troops. Drop the poison. She tried to get the monolith first. With the help of the freeze, does she keep shooting the monolith till it's dead? She might. She might. She might. Oh, she slowed down so much. No, she doesn't. That's awkward. Royal champion. Grand ward on ground mode. Headhunter. Okay. Down goes the scatter shot. Queen's still vibing. Just gotta keep using spells non-stop to keep her alive. Flame Flinger going up for the next couple of buildings now. Pop the RC ability. Then pop the Warden ability for the Hog Riders from the Hog Puppet in the Rage spell. It's good value. Then the Baby Lala without the Warden Aura from the upper side of the base. But Life Gem, is Life Gem really worth it there? Instead of like Rage Gym, if you're gonna use Ward with the champion, I feel like Rage Gym is actually better. Or am I crazy? Queen got through another wall. Pop her ability. She takes off the last Inferno Tower. She going for the last scatter shot. This is wrecked. This is wrecked, and we don't even need the troops from the Flame Flinger. Let's go. I like it. I like it. Or maybe he planned to use the Warden on air, and he just changed up the plan on the fly. I don't know, because the King was supposed to get the scatter shot in the Queen. He might have just changed the plan on the fly. Yeah. Nicely done from Bernal with the Queen Charge. Royal Champion Warden Charge. Lalo. Let's go. One Pro King. With the next attack, we got some Lalo. Cool, 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 cool. Three Lava Dogs, 27 balloons. Start with the Zap Quake. Take out the Inferno Tower, the Expo. And a Builder Hook. Okay. King on the upper side of the base. Got a Giant Gauntlet. Got a Healer Puppet. Got a Life Gym and the new stuff on the Champion. Queen on the left, push the king inside. Nice. Wall break on the left, baby dragon over there. King might not, oh he does go for the eagle, nice. Giant gauntlet. Splash damage coming in clutch there. Log launcher going for the left expo, left inferno tower. King might go all the way for the middle inferno tower with a poison spell to help the CC troops. This is looking great. This is looking great for one pro king. I like the Sui setup so far. Another wall breaker to help the queen go toward the third Inferno Tower, even though the log launcher is going over there as well. We got the Royal Champion on the left side of the base with the Spirit Fox, of course. She got both the new equipment. Ice Golem freezes. Invis Tower gets activated early thanks to that log launcher. That's another big bonus. Skeleton spell to help the champion get through the enemy champion. And here we go with the... Oh, dude, he just misclicked all three Lava Hounds. Homie, how do you goof like that? 
Drops all three lava hounds. That's definitely not what he meant to do. Balloons making their way to the town hall. We're gonna go with an early freeze. He can still make this work though, even with the misclick on the hounds. Rage spell, warn ability, boom, boom, boom. Lava hounds still trying to distract. No tornado trap there to stop the balloons. That's actually looking great. We had healers from the healer puppet. Queen's still alive. This is still gonna be crushed. Still gonna be crushed. Even though the lava hound deployment was not efficient. Down goes the enemy archer queen. We just gotta get through that scatter shot. It was a very good plan for this base. The haste spell, the balloon split, absolutely perfect. The healers from the healer puppet transitioning over to the royal champion, helping to keep her alive. And down goes this base. Another three star for contract killer. Beautiful attack with the swag, free spell, the swag, royal champion ability. And look at the uh, stars to star count eight to eight now. Loop is in, and he's got the queen charge. He's got the Lalo. Here we go against Mustafa's base. Sweet. Healer puppet. Healing tome. New stuff on the champion. Start the flame flinger. Queen with healers. On the bottom right side of the base. One super bob to help out. Queen gonna walk down. Flame flinger should get the expo at some point. Queen to fight the Barbarian King. Probably gonna throw in a Headhunter to help out. All right, all right, all right. Boom, Headhunter, Wall Breaker. King moving down, taking out the Wizard Tower. We give him a Wall Break as well. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Rage, Wall Break. Queen doing okay. She might need a invis or something or a freeze. Ooh, we go with the invis. Ah, her ability still gets forced. The invis just a half second too late. No frozen arrow there. Makes one heck of a difference. Frozen arrow instead of the healer puppet, I think, could have saved the ability. And then triple rocket balloon CC. Two super minions. Is she okay? Is she okay? She is. He's going to freeze again to be extra safe. Flame flinger still flinging. Road champion on the bottom side behind the king to get the other scatter shot. Both scatter shots are going to go down. One more rage allows queen to get through this town hall. Come on. Again, the frozen arrow would have helped out so much there. Lalo coming in from the left side of the base. RC goes to ability, but she gets wrecked. Her hogs from the hog puppet got wrecked instantly as well. I don't think they got any, any value at all. Ugh. Pop the Warren ability. Balloons will be able to get through the monolith. Okay, do have the healing tome activated. Super minions. Ooh, these might be nice. To fight the enemy queen. Oh yeah, they're going to snipe her. She doesn't even see it coming. She got absolutely wrecked in the face. Another freeze there. Helps the queen get through the last inferno tower before going down. And this is still going to triple. This is still going to triple. Nice save, Mr. Loot. I think it would have been overkill if he had the frozen arrow. But even without the frozen arrow, he was still able to get it done. Beautifully handled. 35 seconds to spare. GG's on this one. Actually, we got to go all the way back for a building he missed. But he's got the time. He's got the time. Nice hit to the homie. Dig with 43 Hog Riders versus the World Champions. Let's go. Let's go. Battle Blimp. Six lightning spells, two healing spells, not a single rage in this army composition. That's rare. Pretty rare to see somebody not take a rage spell. There's the battle blimp. With no Coco loons in front of it, man. So ballsy, but it works. Down goes the Inferno Tower. We pull the CC troops out as we will. Okay. Very simple Yeti bomb. Sure. What's next? Zap Quake. You got one more zap, brother. There we go. Queen. With a healer puppet. Sneaky Goblin. Is Queen supposed to go take out the town hall? Probably. She's going to go the wrong way, isn't she? I don't know. Is she going to walk to the right or the left? King gets the pet house and queen might go the right way. 
the air defense though, making things a little interesting. Ice Golem freezes, we send a wall breaker, we send a headhunter. Oh, this is awkward. We better pop that king ability now. Ay, ay, ay. King ability a few seconds earlier and she still could have gone back for the town hall. Oh, he's just not going to care about the town hall anymore. <gasps> Piggies from the left with the Royal Champion with the Grand Warden. Uh-oh. There's the healing spell early. Poison Tower going to slow us down in the middle section. We do have a Warden ability with more healing. We need it. Oh, yeah. There it is. Dude, this is going to be a one star. More pigs from the top side of the base, but dude, the ricochet cannon actually goes crazy against hogs. Like, those hogs, he just sent like 12 hogs and they got one building. Ugh. Ugh. This is hard to watch. RC has an ability. Uh, healer puppet? Healers actually can help the RC? Uh more hogs from the hog puppet distract the town hall <laughs> and he saves the two star <sighs> ah, oh gosh that was sketchy that was sketchy they're probably gonna end up winning the match though because of penalty points but this attack just i don't know man that, that just wasn't it Selino is in with Electro Dragons, nine of them, with 10 balloons, a lot of rage spells, a lot of free spells, let's do it. With a Siege Barracks. Nice, I'm all about it. Queen on the outside of the base with the Healer Puppet, yes, yes, yes. Healing Tome, Giant Gauntlet, new stuff on the champ. Let's go. Double Rage, Healing Tome, boom, boom, boom. Get through the first couple layers of defenses. The Rage Tower goes off on defense. King deployed to help assist the Queen to distract the Expo. Perfect. Tornado Trap spinning in circles, but we've got a free spell to counter the Town Hall. The Multi Archer Tower, the Siege Barracks on the upper side of the base, getting some good value. Still got a Royal Champion we can drop later. Free spell going to be able to hit the Ego Artillery and the Monolith together. Queen pops ability with the Healer Puppet. She have the Invis Vial as well. Yes, she did. e drags getting through a few more buildings with her chains in the core. Nicely done. That's our last Rage Spell deployed. Lava Hound gets pulled out of the CC. That is not ideal. We're going to have to deal with that. He still has a lot of E-Drags alive. They all clump up on the bottom section. Trying to get through this uh, air defense. We're going to freeze the multi and the expo. <clears throat> Queen gets the air defense down. Champion was in on the upper side of the base with the Spirit Fox. We're working over there. We got one free spell left and the champion ability. There's the early freeze. Pop the RC ability. Spirit Fox still alive. We get through the scatter shot. We get through the enemy queen. Spirit Fox can go invisible again. Get us through the ricochet cannon, and it's looking good for Mr. Shalino. E Drag's going to be able to power through this base. Anarchia do finish with 14 stars, but as we check the rules, their two Root Rider attacks are going to be completely voided. Which basically means they get minus five stars, bro. So they finished with nine stars? <laughs> Papa Mogambo. Final attack of the match, and he's got his famous E Dragons. Let's see if he can get it done here today. Stone Slammer. E Dragons. Early Warden ability. Double Rage setup. Let's go. King Queen on the left side of the base. Got a Giant Gauntlet. Got the Healer Puppet. Got a Healing Tome. Og Puppet with a Seeking Shield. E-Drags making their way to the core. There's the next Rage. There's a the Freezy guy. Ricochet Cannon doing a lot of damage to this Queen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We get through the Town Hall. E-Drags pathing to that Ricochet Cannon to that Expo. He sends the Champion there as well. Super Dragon out of a Stone Slammer. Sure. King pops ability. Queen doesn't have any ability, but she's still alive behind the King. Headhunter to help fight the enemy king. Still got a bunch of E-Drags alive. With the last Rage Bell, they're going to be able to get some good bounce value. Maybe not, because the RC keeps taking out the buildings before they can bounce. There's a bounce. RC is still very healthy. It's crushed. It's crushed. GG's to Papa Mogambo. Did not even need the last freeze. Could have swagged it all day long. Could have swagged the champion ability, but he's going for speed. That's a pretty fast E-Drag triple as well. 
Not the fastest we've seen, but a minute 15. Very, very respectable. Good attack from Mr. Papa Mogambo. And so technically, Anarchia win the match here. But on paper, Anarchia should be getting minus five stars for this tournament because Root Riders are not allowed. So GG's to Contract Killer. We're going to be moving on in the tournament.